exhausted, but I'm so tired of injuries getting in the way. It's really annoying. Because I, I don't know how long I would have to rest it. A week, a month. And by that time, any progress I had would just go away. And I really hope that this hard work is paying off because it's painful. step forward and do backward. Too bad if life is not in reverse for me. So, let me get some uh, pity subscriptions, you know. Subscribe because I'm literally in pain doing these videos for you. I took the longest time between uh, not making these videos and I came back because seen my videos and I was like oh I never thought I would be missed so when I came back I started working out again I think uh, it was like a year and a half that went by I wasn't making videos and uh, I finally I was like okay I'll come back because I was getting comments I'm like are you okay where did you go make more videos please I miss you we miss you this that I do it all for you. I mean, literally, everything I do is for my subscribers. Yes, I want to see results. That is for me. But everything, the, the YouTube, the OnlyFans, that was all fan-suggested. It's like a lot of people who think, like, oh, you only do OnlyFans because... Or you only do SMR and that's completely untrue. Uh, when I first started doing this, I didn't have it, and a bunch of my fans had asked me to get one, so I did. So that's the story of that. In the beginning, there was darkness, and God said, let there be light. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I think that's how the Bible starts. my writing is definitely not media safe, you know, it's, oh, it's very graphic, very graphic stuff, you know, I mean, it's not just like slasher pornography, it's, it's got a plot, but the reason why I go above and beyond with the gore is because I feel like everybody, especially now, has seen seen or read some of the goriest stuff and I had to like step it up so that's why I started eating videos but most of the most people were um, well in the beginning most people were really hating my uh, eating videos so I found Somebody was saying that I had uh, a lot of hate on it, and uh, I did. They were like taking screenshots. 
screenshots of my uh, books and stuff and like telling people like, oh, you're such a, you're such a freak, he's a serial killer, this, that, and the other thing. So I took my link off my uh, channel to my books because nobody was really interested in to reading me, but more of mocking me. just to get 12 subscribers, but I was stuck on that for three to four months. And I doubt the people who started watching me three years ago or four years ago are still with me. So I graduated from Lapel to Blue Yeti, went to Blue Yeti to 3DO. I still have sets of those. Uh, on camera, I did, I believe, seven sets of the dips and the skull crusher. I was having a tough time right there because my, bi my biceps, my triceps were really just giving out on me. Um, here comes a little flex. Wolverine. something for uh, Wolverine. <laughs> Who wants a piece of this? Gotta get the claws out, you know. And Wolverine. <laughs> I haven't seen the Wolverine Deadpool movie, but shoot. Somebody wants to Some of them are kind of insulting, like uh, Jesse Eisenberg 
or Seth Rogen. Uh, I forgot who else. What the fuck? I forgot who else I got. Let's see. Eisenberg, um, Seth Rogen, um, Jason Patrick, and Lost Boys, uh, I don't know what the name of that vampire dude is, I, I don't like the, the fucking trilogy or the, uh, little thing, uh, what is it called, Twilight? Edward in Twilight. I don't know his name. I think his name was Edward in the movie. Um, Blake Shelton. Yeah, Blake Shelton, the country singer. Um, Bobby. Stark and Game of Thrones. She like there is like and it's endless. And I swear like my face must morph or something because I always look like somebody. Somebody's uh, if I meet somebody, I always look like someone they know. Like oh, you look just like. Uh, best friend or something like that or you look like my girlfriend's brother or you look like my mom's uncle I don't know some bullshit as you can see here this was hurting it's just the left arm incredible you think both arms would be shit but I guess because I use my right arm more, it's the dominant arm, so it gets a lot more use. Uh, you can think of whatever you want about that, I guess, and you know, I know somebody's going to make a comment about something uh, inappropriate. I won't say it because I'm trying to clean my, clean my uh, act on YouTube trying to talk about really bad stuff anymore because a lot of people don't want to hear that um, but yeah it's just the uh, right, uh, right left arm I mean this really hurt doing the bicep curls like that what I did in my last video I have rest in my elbow and my thigh that actually helped a lot so I'm um, thinking I might have to spend just doing that for biceps. Um, I'm, I did close grip pull-ups here too, which were terribly painful. So I'm wondering if I should do that and sit down and do my bicep curls. So, like right now, it kind of hurts. Ooh. It kind of hurts a little bit, or not as bad as it actually hmm. but it does hurt to extend my arm completely and raise my middle and uh, ring finger up so if you're if you can do it so you can imagine it stick your left arm straight out to your side or like somewhat out to the side see that there are muscles in your forearms that are moving and 
it's connected to a tendon in the elbow, and that's what's kind of sound I don't like, but the sound of wind is always comforting for some reason. Okay, so, sorry, I gotta just tell you what I'm doing here is upright rows. Really trying to hit the, uh, the delts and the traps. So you got it going on. I was gonna stop filming at this point, but I was like, you know what? Oops, I'm sorry. on me. Everything creaks and cracks on me. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to hit the delts. And you can see that it's really difficult with the uh, injury or inflammation that I'm suffering with right now to do uh, lat raises, which I'm still trying to sets of these because it was starting to hurt a little bit with the uh, lat raises and off camera I did five sets so 18 all together five sets of dumbbell shoulder press with the drop sets so the first set was 30 pounds and 20 second set was 40 pounds 20 third 40 pounds 20 one I could barely lift anything so I just did it with 20 pounds I believe I got 10 rep 8 to 10 reps on my last one but you know you hit the muscles good when you can't even lift 20 pounds and your muscles are just giving out and that's 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 the shit right there that's good pain that's the pain you want to feel but that agony agony and and like uh, it's it's hard to describe, but you just know your body is telling you, this is not a good pain, this is not a growing pain, this is a pain that's a pain in my ass. 
Thank you for watching.